everybody. Sorry I haven't put up a video in so long. I went on vacation, which I will tell you guys about in a little bit. But first, I'm going to let you know that this video is actually on Linux networking tools. These tools have been around for a really long time. They're pretty universal across many distributions of Linux and Unix, including Red Hat, Fedora, CentOS, Debian, even Sun Solaris, and IRIX. Uh, these are networking tools, command line tools that you can help troubleshoot or hard code or try to figure out your networking environment with these tools. So just keep watching and I'll show you guys how to use these networking tools in your Linux environment. But first I'm going to tell you a little bit about my vacation. I went to Istanbul, it was amazing. The mosques are unbelievably beautiful. The tapestries are stunning. And Paris was such a beautiful city. It's like Disneyland but real. And I got to see the Eiffel Tower and the Mona Lisa and they were so beautiful. So I would highly recommend if you ever, ever get a chance, definitely, definitely go to these two cities. They're absolutely stunning. And now just keep watching and I'll show you guys how to use these networking command line tools. The first thing we need to do is open up a terminal on our Linux system. If you take a look at that terminal, you'll see it's username at hostname. Now the first command we're going to do is ifconfig minus a. It will print out our networking configuration for all network card and our loopback card. If you notice our first Ethernet card, it's ETH0, it shows our IP address, our broadcast address, and our subnet mask. So this will define what our system's broadcasting its traffic to. On the top there, you notice under hardware address, it's also known as physical address or MAC address. Now at the bottom is our local loopback. There's certain services on your system that requires a network loopback option. So that is why this is provided there. It actually puts no traffic out on your network card. Now the next command we're going to do is IP adder list. So it's going to show similar information. Uh, some people might prefer this option. So it's going to give us our MAC address again. And then it's going to give us our IP address. And if you notice the slash 24 in the IP address, that slash 24 is designating that subnet mass of 255.255.255.0. If you convert that to binary, it's going to give you 24 ones followed by eight zeros. Now the next command that we're going to take a look at is netstat minus rn. This will give us our routing information. So if you notice that first line where it says 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, it's saying that any machine that is not directly on our subnet is sent to our gateway. So on my home network, 10.0.2.2 is my wireless router. Now that second line is showing anything that's within our subnet is sent out and broadcasted out on our subnet mask. Now if you notice, it will not be sent to the wireless router as our gateway, it would actually just be broadcasted out to our local subnet. Now ping is a very useful command for testing networking issues. So if I'm able to ping my gateway, that means my traffic is able to exit my subnets. Now if you take a look at IF config, you can use it to shut down your network card. This is requiring super user access, so we're going to use sudo ifconfig eth0 down. So this is saying to shut down our ethernet card 0 and then all networking will be disconnected. Now if we want to bring back the command, we can use that if command once again and just replace down with up and this will reinstate our networking connection. Another useful command is hostname. Hostname will provide you with your local system hostname. Another useful command is domain name. So if your machine is part of a domain, it will tell you what your domain name is with this command. Command netstat minus at will provide you with all the listening ports on your network card. So that means if you're running any services, it has a port open on your machine accepting incoming connections. So this is known as listening ports. So with the netstat minus at command, you can see which services have a port open on your local system. The last command we're going to take a look at is dig. 
SIG is a useful DNS lookup utility. It's able to help you troubleshoot any sort of IP hostname resolution issue. So if you type in dig followed by the hostname, it will provide you with the hostname IP address translation. For example, I'm looking up www.google.com and it will show me all the hosts that will answer at that host address name. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and you'll get updates when I put up videos and I try to do them pretty regularly unless I'm out of town. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time.